Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing a cozy fall homemaking video. I have a delicious pot roast crock pot recipe that I'm super excited to make. And we're gonna be making mini apple pies. I know it sounds tricky. Reese wants to say hi. Look at her shirt, by the way. This is from Kids Closet. It was six bucks, and it's Tommy Hilfiger. Ah! <coughs> She's a wild toddler. <laughs> um, the mini apple pies sound really difficult, but they're actually super easy. So with the American Thanksgiving coming up, I thought this would be something you could like really impress your guests with, but it's actually like so easy. <laughs> it's not hard at all. Um, I need to clean my house because with three girls and the school run mornings, today is Wednesday, so I just dropped the older two off at school. My house is destroyed. I have to clean the bathroom. I have to do laundry. I have to vacuum. I have to take the garbage out because the kitchen is stinky. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, I have to clean up the living room and you know, just like all the things. I have to fold laundry, put it away. And I also want to do some organizing in this video. So I want to take a lot of all the girls clothes, like the summer clothes and put them away because it is freezing out now. We finally hit that fall weather in Canada and it's freezing. So I gotta get rid of like their summer stuff. So we need to get going and get this house in order, don't we? <laughs> Let's get going. So I am just starting in my bathroom and the first thing I like to do is take a trash bag and just get rid of any like q-tips or lids to things or plastic wrappers or anything around the bathroom like sometimes the kids will throw things in the garbage can and they miss the garbage and there's all stuff on either side of the toilet so I'm just going around picking up any garbage first and then I always start with the mirrors and then we're gonna get to cleaning the sinks and the bathtubs as well. I don't know about you guys, but I try my best to clean the bathrooms once a week. Um, that's just kind of like our routine because I feel like if you leave it longer than that, then they can get super grungy, but I'm not always perfect with it. And there are times when I don't feel well or I honestly forget and it will be closer to two weeks. But usually I try and get the bathrooms cleaned every single week. And one of the things that you see me doing right now is cleaning up the toothbrush holder because it just gets so gunky with the kids toothpaste and everything it's just it's just gross so I try and clean it all out wipe everything down that is on the counter and just clean every inch of the bathtub and I love that little Reese bear is here with me she is always with me like if I'm cleaning baking you'll see when I start to organize later she is always right in there with me and we talk and she finds it fun she loves watching mummy and I always give her little jobs to do and it's so much fun and I just I just really cherish this time that I have with her. So now for my absolute least favorite task, and that's cleaning the shower. Honestly, you guys, I would never recommend these like stone bottoms because the water can sit there and it gets really gungy. I just can't stand it. And I just hate cleaning the shower in general. So I physically have to get in the shower to scrub the walls and scrub the floor. We do have hard water stains. Um, so I find I'm using that pink paste. It's like the miracle pink paste that works super, super well. Um, and it really gets the water stains off. As you can see, like there's hard water even in the toilet and I'm using the Lysol. It's the one that's for hard water stains, but it still won't get it out of the toilet. It's super annoying. So if you guys have any tips for me, I would super appreciate it.
So now I am starting in the bedrooms and I like to make the beds every single day. Sometimes I get that done first thing in the morning, but sometimes I don't get it done until Reese goes down for her nap just because there's so much that I have to do when I get home from dropping the girls off at school. But I always like to make the beds, but on this particular day, so usually on Tuesdays, I strip the beds and wash all of the bedding. So I'm just stripping my sheets and then I'm stripping the girls' bed sheets as well, just to give them a wash. And then I know that every Tuesday, the bed sheets are going to be washed and we get fresh sheets. So let me know in the comments down below, how often do you guys wash your bed sheets? I'm sure once a week is a little bit excessive. I've heard some people say they do it once every two weeks. Some people are once a month, which no judgment, but I just can't. I can't. I, can't. Um, I try and do it every single week. So now that the beds are all stripped, I'm just going through the girls' clothes because it is officially fall weather here in Ontario, Canada. It's October and it is freezing outside now. So they don't need any short sleeve clothes, like short sleeve tops or dresses or anything like that. So I'm just packing up any of their summer clothing, like shorts and stuff like that. Um, just for next year to and then next year I'll go through it and see if there's anything that still fits that we can keep or if I need to get rid of anything. And the girls are super messy also when they go to pick clothes in the morning. So they pull stuff off the hanger and it's just a mess. So I'm just like rehanging things and going through their entire closet and just organizing it, putting everything away. And again, Reese's with me and I don't know what is on my butt. Seriously, this is such mom life. I think it's like I think I wiped my hands on my butt and it's like that pink paste is on my butt, but whatever. Um, so I'm just hanging up everything and making everything look nice and neat. And like I said, putting away their summer stuff. This is the after, so it's all like fall and winter clothes. And this is the pile of stuff that I got that they will no longer wear. And I just put that in the top of their closet till next year. So now I am going into Reese's room. This girl has so many clothes, it's not even funny because obviously she gets the hand-me-downs from her sisters. So I'm just going through all of her pajamas and she's kind of more or less into 3T clothing right now. She can still wear 2T, but it's kind of on the shorter end now. So she really needs a 3T. So anything that is too small, or summery, she kept giving me kisses, or summery, or anything like that. I am putting away for my brother and sister-in-law who are having a baby girl this November. So just gonna go through and organize little Miss Reese's clothes and you will see in a second the pile of stuff that I got that she will no longer wear and it just looks so much more organized and neat. So now I'm just getting those sheets and um, dirty laundry into the washing machine so that it's all done for tonight so I can make the beds tonight and it's all done and all fresh. You can see Reese just lying on the floor there. She was so tired, my poor sweet girl. Um, and then we're going to start on a super duper easy crock pot meal. So it's just a roast. You can use any cut of meat that you want. You throw it in the crock pot and you just put in two packs of dried onion soup mix and then you put any spices that you want and then I did a can of gravy like already um like made up gravy and then I put in the organic jalapeno beef um beef broth that you get from Costco and you let that sit all day long and you can serve it with mashed potatoes or you can serve it with egg noodles it is to die for honestly you guys it is so so good and then it just sits and it cooks and your whole house will smell absolutely amazing i love this and it's so so simple okay guys i just peeled myself off the couch <laughs> I just sat down to upload, like do my thumbnail and stuff for my last video. <clears throat> and um, and then I just watched a couple channels that I love um, just to get like a second wind. I honestly could fall asleep. I am so tired, but I didn't want to sit anymore. As tired as I am, I just want to get going. And I think I'm going to use coffee to help me right now. I did just have a big glass of water because I find water's like 
one of the main things to perk you up. Um, and if I'm going to be drinking coffee that's dehydrating, I want to have some water. So anyways, um, I found, so I have the Nespresso Virtuo and I found it at Walmart. They just came out. I've never seen these before. Nespresso has these caramel flavored coffees. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So I have the caramel and <coughs> this time of year, excuse me, I also have the vanilla flavored. By the way, I feel like I've had a cough for like a month and it's like never going to go away. <laughs> But anyways, I thought I'd just have a coffee so that, just so I can get some energy back. I have to switch the laundry. And I thought that I would make, oh, I need more water in my thing. I thought I would make um, those mini apple pies or at least get them prepared before the girls get home from school. Um, I just think I should do that ahead of time. Because as you guys know, when kids come in the door, it's utter chaos. Also, I was gonna say, like, I don't know about you guys, but I think to back when I was working out, like, five days a week, and I'm like, how the heck did I, how the heck did I do that before? Like, I feel like now, if I am filming for you guys and I'm, like, running after Reese, walking the kids to school, walking them home, you know, just doing, like, the general mom things, like, laundry, cooking, vacuuming, organizing and I'm on my feet like all day I don't have the energy to then sit down and do like even a 30 minute workout video I don't know where I found the energy before to do it and I actually think I was like done back then by like seven o'clock but I'm just like how the heck did I do that so if you are feeling because the other day I live this this conversation is happening because Olivia said to me the other day, she's like, Mom, how come we don't work out anymore? And I said, well, I walk like you girls to school and home and that's good exercise. And she's like, no, mommy, you need to do this. And she like squatted down. So she's telling me I need to do squats basically. And then I thought, got thinking and I was like, man, like maybe I should like lift weights again. I should start working out because, you know, it's important. But then I'm like, I get so much physical activity just from like, that's 40 minutes of walking every single day if I walk them to and from school because it's there, back, there, back. And I'm on my feet all day. So as long as I'm using my body and I'm walking, I'm like, you know, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Maybe one day when I slow down, let's be honest, I'm never going to slow down. I'll get back into doing weights and stuff again, but for right now, I'm just like, I'm in an era of I'm tired all the time, not all the time, but like I'm tired. It's a lot looking after three young children. Even when they're in school, it's still a lot of work. It's a lot of running around like the girls have dance tonight. So I gotta take them to that and walk there and walk back. And it's just like, I just don't understand how us as women are supposed to do everything. Like, you know, keep up with the house, keep up with the outside of the house, keep up with um, the cooking, the baking, having everything organized and Marie kondo in your home. And, you know, have that time to like work it and take care of yourself, get your nails done, do your makeup, do your hair, blah, blah, blah. I know you're all thinking, well, like I get, I do my makeup pretty much every day, but it literally takes me less than 10 minutes. I've been doing it so long. It's just like brushing my teeth in the morning. But I just, I think, I don't know. It's just like there's so much pressure on us to do everything. And if you're feeling that pressure, like, let me, listen, I don't always have my stuff together. There are some nights when I am, that you don't see when I am so tired that I'm like, I have dishes in the sink. I desperately need to wash my floor and vacuum, but I'm too dang tired. I can't, I can't do it. And I leave it. I do leave it. And then that's usually when the next day, if you see like a cleaning video from me, you can almost guarantee that it's because the night before I was too tired to do anything and my house was a disaster. Cause it's just too much. So if you're feeling like myself today with a like pressure of like exercising and having everything done, like we are human. We're not freaking superheroes. Like we do our best. Not everybody's perfect and you're doing your best. You're doing a great job. We're all doing a great job. It is so hard, so rewarding, but so hard to be a mom and try and keep up with just everything. It's a lot on our plates. It's a lot on our plates. And um, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm thankful that I'm in this position that I can stay home with my babies 
um, as I'm sure like you guys are, if you're working moms, I'm sure you're, um, you know, thankful for your jobs and you're thankful that, you know, you get to be a mom and be in this journey and, you know, but some days you just want to be like, let everything go to shit and just sit down with a coffee and watch TV all day. And it's okay to do that and it's okay to feel overwhelmed. So anyways, I don't even know where that came from. I'm so deliriously tired. It's like not even funny. Um, by the way, I wanted to share with you guys, I don't know where this came from. I just wanted to like a rant. Okay, so not long ago, I fried my hair because in the summertime, I went to Colin's uncle and aunt's house and I guess they had a lot of chlorine in their pool. It, I remember, I think you guys remember, it dyed my hair green. Like here down was bright green. It looked like I dyed my own hair green. It was so bad. And I wanted to go a bit darker, so I went to my stylist and she's like, I can't get that green out of your hair unless I bleach it out. So picture, this was the color of my hair, then it was green from the chlorine, and then she had to put bleach on top of it. So putting bleach on this. It damaged my hair and I had to get two or three inches cut off and I was so upset because I had worked so hard on growing my hair, but I finally feel like it's growing again and it looks so much healthier and shiny and it's just longer like before it was like here <laughs> and I was like, ah. so I feel like it's growing faster and the thing that I discovered that is really really helping don't worry it's not like a salesy thing is um rosemary oil so I do use uh, Rejuvenique oil by Monate. I will never not use Monate. it is I actually don't have my account at the moment um long story short I'll, I'll share that later um just like stuff going on in the team and stuff but anyways i still use monate i will always use monate i will never use anything else but rosemary oil and castor oil so i'll mix rosemary oil castor oil and the rejuvenic oil and do scalp treatments twice a week and run the castor oil and the rejuvenic and the rosemary oil down my hair like down the ends, oh my gosh, has it made a huge difference. I feel like my hair has grown a lot faster. It looks healthier and then when I wash it out, like it's baby soft and like you can see, like you can see the shine and y'all, like it was fried, it was fried. This was, um, I think this was in August, July or August. I think it was August, beginning of August like fried and I was like I have short hair now I looked into getting extensions that's how bad it was and I feel like it finally looks healthy again and that's like just from August to October so get yourself from Amazon some rosemary oil castor oil I've also been putting castor oil on my face because it's very anti-aging anti-inflammatory it's just the best um so if you are somebody that you know always want to try the rejuvenate oil but you can't afford it castor oil rosemary oil you're good and then you could just mix it with like coconut oil or olive oil or something like that so just a little tip but i'm gonna have my coffee switch the laundry make some mini apple pies i might walk to pick them up it looks like it might rain but we'll see sorry for the long rain starch, third cup of brown sugar, then we're going to do a third cup of white sugar, then a teaspoon of cinnamon, and do a little bit of pumpkin pie spice, and then it's half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm just going to eyeball it. I don't feel like getting my half teaspoon measurement out. It's about half a teaspoon. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more cinnamon. 
and then we're gonna do a pinch of salt. Then we're gonna get this on the stove, whisk it all together, and then when it comes to a boil, we're gonna add the apples. So now I'm just cutting up, or well, peeling and cutting up the apples for the mini apple pies. I will leave the recipe linked to this down below. You guys have to do this. I'm honestly going to do this for Christmas, and everybody can have a mini apple pie. This was so easy. I know it sounds tricky, but I promise you, it's like the easiest thing ever. I just bought the store-bought pie crust, roll it out, cut some circles, put it in your muffin tray. The filling takes like 10 minutes. And then you put it all together and it was delicious. Colin loved them, the girls loved them. And I think it would look super pretty, even for Thanksgiving if you guys wanted to do this. Um, but we already had ours, so I'll do mine for Christmas. But with some like fresh whipped cream on top and like a sprinkle of cinnamon, how impressed would your guests be if you did that? And it's so easy. So again, I will leave the recipe link down below, but you guys definitely have to try these. They are such a hit. I would recommend buying double the pastry just so you have lots of extra and this crumble on top was to die for. My house smells so good between the roast and the apple pies. Smells bomb. So Reese and I, she's gotta get some pants on, and I use you, and I gotta do her hair, and then we're gonna walk to pick up the girls. Okay, I just checked the roast, so that was on high for <clears throat> four hours. And this is a huge roast. I swear my crock pot cooks things way faster than every recipe ever says. So I checked it and it's um, with the meat thermometer and the center is at 143 and it should be at least 145. I believe that's like medium. So I just switched it to low for the next like, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. Um, the apple pies are done. And I'm gonna just do, <coughs> excuse me, um, like the girl's favorite, I need to organize this. I see, I'm working on my spaces, but every area is not organized. I know I need to organize it. So I'm just gonna do um, a side of the Annie's organic mac and cheese for the kiddos. Um, and then we'll do some sort of vegetable or salad to go with the roast. So now it is time to put the fresh towels and bath mats back into the bathroom. And I just love when I have fresh towels and bath mats. I don't know what it is, but it just makes the bathroom look so much better and feel cozier when they're clean and fluffy and dry and fresh. I just love it. It's just something that makes me so happy. And then it's time to make the beds. The girls are just downstairs watching TV. We have a small house, so I can hear them. They're literally like right <laughs> at the bottom of the stairs pretty much. Um, so I am just making our bed first and I'm not sure why I bothered putting like all the decorative pillows on but I did and then I go into the girls rooms and do their beds as well and by this point you guys I was completely exhausted this is not something that I wanted to do but obviously I wanted the kids to have some nice fresh bed sheets so sometimes as moms we have to do things we don't want to do even though we're really tired um we just have to push through and to get it done and i just want to say that you are doing such a great job you are a mom you are a rock star it is the hardest job in the world because there's just so much on us all the time to be perfect and to have everything done and everybody taken care of and our needs don't get met they just don't so you give yourself grace you're amazing you're a rock star God made you the mother of your babies for a reason because you are the perfect mother for your children and you are doing an amazing job. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you anywhere you want.
So now that the girls' beds are made, I'm just going to fill up the sink with hot soapy water and wash all the dishes from dinner and the girls' lunch containers. Then I'm going to cut up the roast and we're going to eat together as a family. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you so much. Please leave a like and comment down below on what kind of videos you want to see next. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a blessed week. When I look in your eyes, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you It's almost like you make me fly And when I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you